Everyone, welcome to Super Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled A Sad Contrast Between the Yeshivot in Chutzlaret and the Yeshivot here in Eretz Yisrael. So, has for Shalom for me to criticize the Yeshivot in Eretz Yisrael. They are so holy. When I say Yeshivot, I mean the Sephardic Yeshivot, the Tilumi, the Haredi, the Yeshivot, the Yeshivot, the Kedam Tzvai. The Merkaz Harav, the Hakav, the Yeshiva, every Yeshiva here is so holy. The amount of guys learning in the Yeshiva is just is astounding, and the intensity is beautiful, incredible, and just mesmerizing. But just one point that in some Yeshivas I see something which I think should be pointed out. And I'm saying this because Parshat Korach we just read. Where the Orchaim says that when it says that Tanavram said, Lo Nale, we are not going up. What do you mean we're not going up? Who called you to go up anywhere? So Orchaim says, Moshe, he says this twice, Orchaim, that Moshe called them to meet with him? That's an aliyah, to meet with a Rebbe. Okay, for Moshe Rabbeinu, obviously it's an aliyah to meet with Moshe Rabbeinu, but to meet with any Rebbe is an aliyah. And I see some yeshivas, not all, but some yeshivas here in Israel, the model is different than what I remember in the States. In the States, in the Rosh Yeshiva Shir, it wasn't only the, the Rav Shir, any Rosh Yeshiva, any Rebbe Shir. We'd spend hours a day preparing. Then listen to the Shir with bated breath. And then spend hours doing Chazara. And it will come to critical moments in our lives. We've discussed it with the Rebbe, going out and she do him in marriage and, and de dealing with merit, marital issues and raising children and moving to this town, to that town. Whether we're 18, 22, or 28, or 38 for that matter, we had a Rebbe in terms of their Halimut who guided us in our learning, in our analysis, in our thinking, in our midos. We had that connection. For us, it was an aliyah to be with the Rebbe. Not only with Moshe Rabbeinu, that would be the greatest of Aliyot, to be the Rabbi, to guide us. Not despite the fact that we're already 20, 21, 22, but because we're already 20, 21, 22, we need a Rabbi in those crucial years and all years. And here in Israel, I know some yeshivas, I don't know what percentage, where there'll be in yeshiva, in Shia with the Rabbi for Shia Alef, Shia Bet, first two years of Shia Gedola, and they're gone. I'm on my own now. I do Havrusa. Yeah, I have to go to the Shir Klali maybe once a week when Rosh Yeshiva gives Shir, but thank God the rest of the time I'm doing my own thing. And there's no connection with the Rebbe in terms of learning, analysis, life, growth. I don't know how many Yeshivas are all that way, but there definitely are some. And in my opinion, we should look at that ability to be with the Rebbe throughout our lives as a gift, as an Aliyah. And I bless all of us that we should have that relationship. Asela harav, making, making, finding a rough for yourself should be a lifelong zechut, privilege, and merit. Shalom.